You don't see people actively using a lot of Windows 2000 these days. It's a 10-year-old operating system after all, but you still see it occasionally on legacy servers or legacy workstations that are just performing some very simple functions. There are different versions of Windows 2000 you need to know about. Windows 2000 Professional was designed to go on people's desktops and people's laptops. Windows 2000 Server, Advanced Server, and Data Center are for services that might be in a server farm. They might be database servers or web servers. You may be taking many servers and combining them together into a cluster so that you have redundancy and you're sharing CPU and you've got fault tolerance. And that's really designed for the enterprise and larger data centers. The Windows 2000 requirements for the minimum system is a Pentium 133, a very old processor running 64 meg of RAM and 650 megabytes of space on the hard drive. And you can see the re recommended requirements is at least a Pentium 2 running 128 meg of RAM and two gigabytes of free space on a hard drive. You can see the minimum also for both of these is that you at least have a keyboard. And you can use basically almost everything in Windows 2000 with a keyboard, but you'll find that if you have a mouse, it certainly works a lot better. It's just something to keep in mind when you're approaching this idea of upgrading or having a Windows 2000 machine, that these are the minimums you'll need. It's, it's interesting that these days it says you'll need a Pentium 2 or higher You'll be hard pressed to find a Pentium 2 machine these days unless it's a really, really, really old system. So if you're in a position where you have a legacy system that you have to support, and now that system has died, you may want to look for an older machine to put it on or make sure that if you're installing it on a new machine that it matches at least these minimum and recommended requirements. We've gone through a lot about operating system. Let's see what we've learned about OSs. What is the minimum memory requirement for Windows Vista? We had that big table of Windows Vista requirements. And if you recall, it was 512 megabytes of memory inside of your computer. What is UAC? What is that thing after all? You're going to see this a lot when you start working with Windows Vista. And ultimately, you'll probably be working with Windows 7. And that stands for user account control. And as the operating system is doing different things, it's limiting the access the user has to those different aspects of the OS. And it prompts you for those messages to give the operating system permission to do those things. And lastly, what component of the operating system is one of the most important aspects of a 64-bit operating system? If you recall, there were things we wanted to make sure were compatible with 64-bit operating systems, and those would be the device drivers for the hardware you have in your computer. We've covered a lot about operating systems. We've gone through all of those different versions. It's important to know for our CompTIA exam, the 2000 XP and Windows Vista versions. We've talked about these different aspects of the user interface and what the differences were between these 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. And we've gone through every single one of those operating systems and looked at the minimum and the maximum and re recommended requirements for all of those. If you'd like to watch any of our A-plus videos, we have the entire index on our website. We've got message boards, and we've got a lot more. You can visit our website at 3aplus.com.